Hello world, Noah here. In this aside video, I'm going to explain the difference between interactive mode and file mode in the Python idle IDE. Now, first off, this video is not required watching, uh, so you don't need to watch this video in order to, um, you know, be able to learn Python, but I would recommend watching it because I think um, it clears up some confusion that a lot of beginners have. And uh, this video will actually be helpful to you whether or not you use idle, as I'll demonstrate in, in just a moment. <clears throat> so here I have uh, Python idle running, and on the left side I have a shell, this is the interactive mode, and on the right side I have a file. And a lot of new programmers who are learning Python for the first time can get confused. You know, why are there these two different windows? When do I use which one in which situations and, and all of that stuff. And I'd just like to clear up that confusion early on so that uh, everyone understands. So on the left hand side, we have the Python shell. This is the interactive mode for Python. The Python shell is great for quickly testing stuff out. Uh, one good use, you can use it as a calculator. So I don't know. You can type in a, uh, a math expression and it'll evaluate it. You know, it's pretty simple. Um, you can use it to quickly test Python code. So I don't know, A equals two, B equals three. What's A plus B? It's five. So, you know, that's very simple code. Um, but it's really, it's really useful for just quickly testing things. Um, you know, if you find a snippet of code online or you say, oh, I forget, you know, if this function works how I think it does or, or whatever. So if you want to quickly test something, um, you know, interactive mode is, is great. And if you don't use idle, you can still get to interactive mode and you probably have before. Uh, if you open, so let's open uh, our terminal here. And what you can do is you can type in on, on Windows, it'll probably be Python. On Mac OS, it'll probably be Python 3. Um, it depends on your on the install you have in your system, but it's either Python or Python 3. Um, and you know you can see here we have this. And if you look, this is the exact same uh, message, Python 3.7.2, same, everything's the exact same because this Python shell in idle is the exact same as, as this one right here. And so even if you don't use idle, you can still access the Python shell. And so I actually use this quite frequently. Um, you know, if, when I'm designing these videos, when I'm making these videos and I'm, um, you know, making slideshows for, for the lectures or I'm doing some stuff for the labs and I'll just want to really quickly uh, test out a line of code and see what happens, the interactive mode is really good for that. And uh, close out of that. And so then we get to this file mode. You say, okay, interactive mode is pretty good. It's great for doing quick things. Why don't we always use interactive mode? Okay, well, how about file mode? So in file mode, you write your code, uh, you know, you write all of your lines of code, however big it is, and then your code gets run all at once. So for example, uh, A equals two, you know, B equals three, and um, you know, maybe I wanted to do something with it. But the point is that when I run this code, you know, let's say I have, uh, I put my hello world message, right? When I hit enter, you know, the code doesn't run. Whereas, you know, if I put this into interactive mode and I hit enter, that line of code will run. And so the idea is that in file mode, you know, you take the time to write all of your code and then you run it all at once. And in the very beginning, that may seem, you know, kind of silly, like why not just do this? I get instant feedback here. I don't have to save a file and run it or whatever. Um, but in general, programmers are always going to program, you know, in file mode or using files at least. Um, because the idea is that if you didn't use files, okay, well, you'd have to write down your code somewhere. And so if it's not in a file, I guess it'd be on paper. Um, you know, but regardless, if you wanted to distribute the program to someone else, if you wanted to give your program to your friend, you'd probably rather give them a file and just say, here, run this file on your computer instead of, you know, giving them a transcript of the code and saying, here, you know, program this application that I came up with, right? And so the file mode, the file mode actually makes uh, a lot more sense. And so uh, I decided for this series to always use file mode. I'll use the, the shell, the interactive mode occasionally just to 
um, show quick things. But you know, every lab always I go into file mode, um, just because it's a lot easier to you know make edits and, and organize everything. And really, it's the way that that all programmers program. Because eventually, you know, you'll be writing code that's substantial. It has you know many lines in it and um, and it's a bit complicated and then you'll have to get into debugging and stuff like that and that's just not something that you can do in interactive mode and so I figured I would start you know doing it the real way instead of you know starting in the shell and, and eventually you know transferring over and so that's the main difference but there is one practical difference that's really important and this is something that can confuse a lot of people so if you look at this code right here a equals 2, b equals 3. I type a plus b and it gives me the answer of 5, right? So let me get rid of this and let's say that I actually just type a plus b in there. And I'm going to go ahead and run this. And you'll notice that in idle, it actually runs it in the shell here. Um, you know, which isn't the point though. I mean, it's, it's actually useful as I'll show you in a, in a minute. But the point here is I ran this and nothing happened. You know, here I did A plus B and it gave me 5. Here I did A plus B and it didn't give me anything. So why is that? This this is a, an important difference. Uh, basically, in the shell mode, or to put it this way, A plus B, this is an expression, right? It's saying I want to take the variable A, I want to take the variable B, and I want to add them together. And that's it. It's an expression. It's not really a statement because you're not doing anything with it, right? So you're saying, you know, add A plus B and, and throw away the answer. And so what the shell does is it says, oh, you know, here's this, this value that I found. I'm going to just display the value. And that's why it's really good for, you know, this, this really quick testing stuff because um, you can just write something that's, that's a value, it's an expression, and it'll evaluate it for you. But over here, I'm doing A plus B, and I'm not saying that I want to do anything with it. And Python isn't going to automatically display the result uh, like the interactive mode, which is actually a good thing. Because if Python displayed every single line of code or every single operation that your code did, uh, then your output would get cluttered. Um, you know, but here we have control over you know, what data we want to display, what information we want to display. So maybe we want to store this you know, in a variable and we don't want to show anything. Or maybe we want to use it in some sort of a calculation. If we want to show it, we have to do what we did in the first lab and we have to you know, print it out. So we print. Uh, a plus B, right? Um, and you know now when I run it, it gives the output of five. And so in interactive mode, you can write the same thing. You can write print A plus B, uh, or you could just write A plus B, and they'll both display. And this second one is just because it's interactive mode. Uh, here, if you want something to display, you have to explicitly say, you know, print. Otherwise, it won't display which can be confusing because you know you have these two modes that act a little bit differently but when you actually understand why it's really useful and the last thing that I'll say um, you know something else that's good about the shell aside from just testing stuff is uh, let's say that I do you know C equals 5 whatever uh, when I run this code you know, it did the same thing, okay, A equals 2, B equals 3, A plus B, whatever, C, okay. But now, I actually have this variable C in my shell. So C is equal to 5. I never declared it over here, but I declared it in the file, and when this file ran, it ran through the file, but then, you know, all these variables that I made still exist. And so this allows you to easily test your code, because eventually, for example, when we start writing functions, you'll be able to write the function here, and then test it in the interactive mode, right? And just to show you, you can actually do the same thing in uh, in iTerm, or sorry, in your terminal rather. So, for example, if I just do uh, Python three, and I say, okay, C name C is not defined. There's no variable called C, right? But what I can do is if I go to this file, it's in lesson three, and it's file mode.py. So, so this is the the uh, the file that I'm working with and what you can do is you can run Python 3 or Python dash I and then the name of the file that you want so file mode so you can see first it runs you know the code it prints out a plus b which is 5 but now that variable C is defined so when you run a code when you run sorry a, a program that you wrote in file mode over here it does the same thing that doing the dash I interactive flag does in the command line and so whether or not you use um, 
you know, uh, idle, you can still find this interactive mode to be useful. It's great for quickly testing things and also for testing your code when you go into interactive mode. Um, and, you know, I would just say it's not the best for actually writing, you know, writing, you know, a substantial program because uh, it doesn't save, you know, the, the code that you're writing, and it's really hard to go back and change things. You have to do a lot of copying and pasting of your code, and it just gets very ugly. And so that's why I've always been using the file mode to write all of the code. Um, but that's not to say that the interactive mode is not useful, because it certainly is. And so that's all for this uh, this video. I just wanted to sort of explain the difference between the two and when you're supposed to use both of them. I hope that was uh, helpful, and I will see you guys in the next one.